Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the most important vitamin for your immune system and the shocking results of a recent study with regards to COVID-19 patients that I think you'll really like hearing about. So my name is Dr. Tom Refrano from the Natural Medicine Clinic in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. And one of the more common findings I see with patients over practicing for the last 34 years is vitamin D deficiency. And I practice in South Florida where that's not even supposed to be an issue. So this recent study, um, Dr. Mark Olipio published it last month and studied 212 patients diagnosed with COVID-19. And of those patients that had mild illness, 96% of them had normal vitamin D levels. And then the group of patients that had severe or critical illness of coronavirus, only 4% had normal vitamin D levels. So that means 96% of the patients that had severe or critical illness from COVID-19 had vitamin D deficiency. 96%, while the mild illness, only 4% had a deficiency. And they were basing those numbers um, on a level of vitamin D of 30, which um, is not even that great. So we'll go over that in a second. But what this means is that, um, and, and other, this is not the only study that show, has shown this. I mean, even uh, three years ago, there was a study in the British Medical Journal showing that vitamin D supplementation was very protective against acute respiratory tract infections. Um, there are studies showing vitamin D prevents that cytokine storm in the lungs that is the reason why people um, are dying from COVID-19 is that cytokine storm you've heard about in their lungs. So there, there are multiple studies showing the effects of vitamin D and the immune system, this latest one is uh, quite evident. I mean, it's even to the point where the United Kingdom has recommended their citizens start taking vitamin D supplements on a regular basis to help with immu their immune system. So what do you do with this information? Well, what you can do with it is it's very, very simple to get adequate levels of vitamin D. Well, the easiest way the most is getting sun, okay? So that's nearly impossible to get it from our diets unless you're drinking cod liver oil on a regular basis. Uh, but as far as foods, it's just, there's not enough in our foods to get it. So the sunshine is the source of vitamin D. And the challenge with that is, well, I'll tell you a personal story. So when I moved to Florida, years ago, I, I was on the beach um, on two, three times a week on a regular basis, I was at the beach. And I ultimately had my vitamin D levels tested back then. And I was very deficient. I mean, how can that be possible? Well, I have olive skin, so I tan very easily. And the darker your skin is, uh, the harder it is to absorb vitamin D from the sun. So, and the same thing with this um, COVID-19, they found that that people with dark skin, um, for instance, African-Americans have a much, much higher incidence of severe or critical illness with COVID-19 and deaths as do people uh, with lighter skin. So that's a real issue. Um, I had a patient um, years ago from the Bahamas he was a landscaper, lawn, did lawn maintenance, landscaping. So he was out on the sun at least 40 hours a week, all day long in the Bahamas. And he was Bahamian, so he's very, very dark, dark skin. And he was vitamin D deficient. So being out on the sun doesn't necessarily ensure that you're getting, getting proper levels. Therefore, I mean, supplementation is really the best source of vitamin D. I typically, the ranges of um, 
supplement levels. It will really depend on what your blood levels are. So I do recommend that you get tested, your uh, blood levels checked for vitamin D, and the lab levels are different than really where your optimal levels are. So you really want to be in that 60 range. So say 50 to 70, ideally right around 60. Uh, the lab levels are 30 to 100. However, optimally, you really want to get towards that like 60 uh, point. And that usually requires on average a dosage. It's typically two to 10,000. I use a vitamin D. Um, it really depends on a lot of factors. Uh, I, I was taking 5,000 for quite a while, and it wasn't enough to get my levels up towards that 50, 60 range. So I had to take 10,000 for a while. Now I'm back down to five. So it really depends on um, your levels, height, weight, and how much sun you get, et cetera. The other thing is you want to make sure, I highly recommend taking vitamin D with K2 because K2 helps with absorption of D and also has extra immune support. So vitamin D supplement with K2 is best. And on average, I would say 5,000 is typically what I see that adults need. And with children, it really depends on their weight. But uh, on average, it's, uh, 1,000 units for about 35 pounds of body weight. But again, ideally you want to get tested and, and to see what your levels are. So that's it for today. The importance of uh, vitamin D is, is just really, I uh, can't stress that enough. So I hope you'll take this information and uh, use it to help improve your health and immune system. And if you liked this information, feel free to share it and subscribe to my channel below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.